Hello and welcome to another review of the Benefit of the Dowd podcast. I am your host, Adam Dowd, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Cliff Thomas. Cliff, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Just uh, happy to be here, as always. And, you know, I'm I'm happy to, uh, to be feeling well, with which uh, I know my co-host yeah. is just, just, just a little under the weather. He's feeling better. Uh, yeah, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. We, uh, we kind of took a, we basically took a week off. Uh, because I was kind of feeling like crap and coughing all the time. And it wasn't really that I was feeling bad. It's just like I was coughing like pretty much constantly for like an entire week. And it was not, not great. It would not have uh, made for good television or good audio for that matter. It is, um, it is the worst when, when you feel like you take a breath and then <coughs> you're about to speak kind of like case in point. And then, yeah, and then you, <laughs> you cough and, and then you, yeah, it's, it's just, it's not fun. And, and it's and not. My, I, I, I somehow have been able to avoid the cough. I also have been, um, you know, suffering from, from the, what, I don't know what you call this, like the February lung blues, but you know, my, my, my family's all been dealing with it, but just, yeah. just that, that one part that like the coughing and everything has, has escaped me. So, but anyway, everyone well, welcome and, uh, cross welcome your fingers and, and all your toes, man, because you don't want this to come after you. No, but, I do not. Um, I've had it. I've had it too many times. I do not want that. But hey, look, here's yeah. something new. Yeah, we have our own watermark and Branding. we have our own background. So it's yeah. over. It's over there, yeah. right? It's, right but the it's, corner of it's over on Cliff's side over there. Yeah, yeah. I can't. I can't point to here. it from here. here. No, other side. Other side. No, where you are. for me, that's uh, for me. That's right. So oh for the well, video, it should be all right. Anyway, okay. here's hoping. Anyway, we're new to this. Um, if not, yeah. I mean, just a just imagine if not, me pointing. It'll be hilarious. That's okay so. because even if I do point up because of my green screen, I've got this halo in my hand. That's kind of funny, right? Like I'm an right. I'm an alien. Yeah. <laughs> wow, we are really bad at this. Anyway, yeah. uh, so. This uh, this particular episode is actually kind of a um, uh, kind of a almost a not really a do over because we never did it the first time, but it's more of a makeup um, exam because originally the plan was I was going to Cliff and I were going to broadcast from New York City because I was in New York City for the launch of the One Plus Eleven, which is it's actually hit here. Oh, actually, yeah. Skippy the review cam isn't on yet, so here it is. Um, but anyway, I ju my review for this went live at SlashGear.com, and uh, we were there for the event in New York. Uh, we got to watch the launch streaming from India on a big TV, and Robin Liu was there, who is the uh, CEO of OnePlus North America, so that was good. Um, that, uh, yeah, uh, That must have been interesting. I didn't, is it, was this your first OnePlus event? Like, it was my first. Live? It was my first OnePlus event, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So uh, they had a nice, uh, nice little loft um, over in the uh, uh, right next to the uh, Hudson River. So beautiful mm. view of Jersey. You could actually see the Statue of Liberty like way off in the distance oh, very cool. from where we were. And then um, the hotel was, man, that hotel was something else because like it was, I don't know how to describe it. Like it was kind of weird. Um, in that, like my like the weirdest part of my of my hotel room was the bed was not a bed; it was a mattress on the floor, but it was like a raised up platform, like like it was just like a six inches up, like the entire back half of the room. Like was, you were uh, dining at a Japanese style table, but it, it was it was up on a platform, and huh. like um, it, the mattress itself like, really comfortable, but it was on the floor. So like there was no box spring and you couldn't like sit on the side of your bed because you were on, it was like sitting on the side of a curb or something. And like, it was really nice As because mattresses sometimes are, <laughs> well, it was nice because in the middle of the night, you know, if you had to get up and go to the bathroom, you could just like walk back to bed and just kind of collapse onto the, onto the thing. Um, but like getting up, when you're on the wrong side of 40 was not fun. Mm. Um, so I kind of had Especially to like, Especially if you were feeling like this, well, yeah, you know, I basically had to like get up off the floor every time I wanted to get out of bed. So um, I, I told everybody else there, like, if I'm not down in 10 minutes, send help. <laughs> um, but uh, anyway, 
uh, because I had to travel to New York City, I had to pack to travel to New York City. And in order to facilitate that, I picked up a new little, this is not really a tech thing, but it's a thing to hold your tech. Let's bring up Mr. Skippy, the review cam. Welcome, Skippy. Skippy. Um, Skippy is the name of the review cam until we get a better option. We've had a couple of good suggestions, but none quite as good as Skippy. Uh, but anyway, so here is yeah. the gear bag that I ordered off of Mr. Amazon. Um, and this is terrible. I completely forgot to like pull up the details of the uh thing, so we're new at this. We suck. Uh, no, this is a Sturkman. So, okay, this is this is a, a pouch by a company called Sturkman. And if you're familiar with Peak Design, Peak Design does a lot of tech-oriented stuff. And then a lot of other brands steal Peak Design's designs and put oh, really? it into their own thing. I was going to say, this really does look like a Peak Design. I mean... It kind of I mean, does. Uh, well, it okay, does. So, so, so you can tell. My phone's around here somewhere, right? So they <clears throat> Peak Design uses the same style fabric for a lot of things and so <coughs> yeah. i have a peak design case yeah i mean and looking at them side by side you know they're they're pretty uh, uh that's pretty close they're pretty similar yeah um but so this is a tech bag and this was the reason i bought it was because it was about half the price of the peak design version um and you know it's very possible i may end up paying for that in the long run but <laughs> um i doubt that so just on the outside, uh, this is that that same kind of cloth. Um, I, I don't know what what would you call this that cloth. Well, it's definitely. I mean, if, if you're talking about peak design and then what this is emulating, it's definitely like that sort of like a canvas, water like a like, canvas. It's yeah. canvas, but it feels very like uh, waterproof, like very like yeah. outdoorsy. Like I don't know how to tough is is, yeah. is the way that you would probably it describe is. it. Mm -hmm. um, and speaking of waterproof, the zippers, like, so these these are the zippers here, and you can see there's kind of like a rubber, like, oh, yeah, gasket that's, mm -hmm. but it's, like, embedded in the zipper. Like, you know, normally when you're, um, if I zoom in a little bit here, normally Ooh. when you're, um, Fuck normally that. when you've got a zipper and, like, so a flap, you're trying to get the, the zipper to run inside the flap. This right. actually runs, the zipper actually runs over the flap. And I think that's supposed to add to some type of like, you know, waterproofing type capability. And that went up a lot further than I wanted it to. And <laughs> you just saw my pajama pants. Hello. Welcome Yay. to the Benefit of a Doubt podcast. Anyway, um, so it's got that. It also has these two loops here, which are useful for... The strap, which I have somewhere on my desk, I thought maybe I don't this have. This is it on always my desk the best anymore. part of, of our podcast when we're looking for things that. When are we're looking for crap. Oh wait, here we go. Yeah, here it is. Um, so it actually comes with a strap, mm -hmm. and which you know, the Peak Design bag did not. Does not. Yeah, so you can just strap that on there, and then you can actually kind of make this like an over-the-shoulder bag, and you could just carry that if you wanted to. When you need um, your man purse, you need your man purse. When you need your man purse, you need your man purse. Uh, there's also um, two, like, holdy straps down mm. on the bottom here. So you can, like, if you're holding the bag, you can, like, stick your fingers through also, there. Also, like, and... uh, if you need to put it on your your, your uh, carry-all, like, your your, your uh, luggage, that'll strap I, It's that. not not big enough for that. Not oh, big enough not? for, like, the uh, – no, it's just – it's mainly just for, like, when you're for holding, holding it, gotcha. I guess. Um, I guess that's what they wanted to do. Uh, it has a zipper on the outside here for like an exterior like pouch. This is kind of like a quick access thing if you want to put like your it lights. Looks in. like it's pretty stuffed right now. You've got you've got a, I've a got lot this of thing. In that. I've got yeah. this thing pretty well stuffed, and this is basically packed the exact same way that I had it for New York. I haven't touched it since we got back. Um, but anyway, this is for like quick access stuff. Like if you want to put your passport in here, so you can like grab it's it like out real quick. Perfect and, size for a passport, yeah. actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's and it's fairly deep. But anyway, um, so the reason I left this packed was because I wanted to show you like, you know, what I use this for. And so it has two zippers and it opens up just like that. And it has this. I mean, that's pretty deep. Sorry to, to interrupt you. But that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it opens really deep. That's nice. Well, so it kind of spreads out. It spreads out. And also I can show you this. Oh, that is Velcro oh, wow. and that is Velcro. So, that's I mean, it awesome. like. 
yeah it's like it can go like super wide mouth if you have to but anyway it's got this this cross pocket design which the peak design bag also has and as you can see yeah it's it's pretty stuffed in here so got your pills in um it. yeah i figured what i'll do is <laughs> i'll just take out um take out what i have in here so we'll start from this end and this is the charger for the uh um for the uh, surface pro 9 that i took as like mm -hmm. my my laptop um, and then next we have, this is my MagSafe battery pack charger. Um, and then I also have a, uh, a Mophie Snap um, MagSafe charger, basically, um, because I took my iPhone with me. Um, and then we've got another MagSafe uh, power pack. This one's from Anchor. And, uh, you know, this is, this is the one I think we've shown this on the, po on the oh, podcast kick, before yeah, the where it stand. like, yeah, folds out into like a kickstand thing. So that's fun. Um, and then down here I've got, uh, this is a, um, a flashlight. This is actually, um, a camera. How weird looking is that? Okay. So this is actually to go, this is actually meant to go on a camera. Oh. Um, and it's a, it's a very bright, like is if I turn your hot shoe, like. Yeah, so it has, I don't have the hot shoe mount on here, but um, there's a there's a screw here for a hot shoe. So gotcha. you can mount it to the top of your camera, and bada bing, you have a flashlight. It's also uh, magnetic, which cool. I don't think I have anything metal here to attach it to to show you. But anyway, and it has this diffuser on here that comes this is, on. This is like an unboxing, but also a, a yeah. bag review. Yeah. Well, all of these links will be in the show notes if you want cool. to pick up any of these things. But anyway, so yeah, I just use this generally as a flashlight because it's com it's convenient and I can put it on my mouth where I have to. And uh, it's also <laughs> magnetic, so I can like stick it to something and it'll like, you know, it'll just like, you know, shine down. Mm -hmm. So I use this actually when I'm working in my car a lot. Um, but anyway, so there's that. Uh, this is a, uh, uh, a, uh, uh, a, prescription bottle that is filled with coins the reason oh. you the oh. reason you fill this with coins is so that when you want to take a good product photography shot you stand the uh, stand the phone up against it bada bing bada boom there's your shot this so, to uh to to our uh friends who send us review devices adam adam really needs a a, a stand for his phones no, I don't. That's what the, just no, kidding. if I wanted to put a phone on a stand, I've got stands, but this allows it to freestand, like, you know, on a ledge or something. Uh, um, okay. And then this is a Mophie uh, GAN charger. So it has two USB, USB C ports. I want to say this one is 65 watts, maybe. I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, and then I've got the uh, Anchor GAN Prime charger with two USB C's and a USB A. One nice thing about this is this has like a smart IQ technology where it will, if you have like three different things plugged in, it will feed the most power to the lowest device. So oh, if you have cool. like, if you have like a tablet that's at 20% and a phone that's at 80%, it'll spit more power towards the tablet and less power towards the phone hmm. because, you know, it wants to charge everything as much as possible. Um, and then finally I've got, yeah, this is just a little pill case. So this is like, has, you know, Tums and Tums. ibuprofen yeah, stuff like, like that. <laughs> um, and then, uh, I've got a few USB-C cables in here. Um, gotcha. so this one was specifically for charging this flashlight just in case it died because it still uses micro USB. Um, but the other two are just USB-C to USB-C. And I think I had a USB-A cable in here at one point. This is not that. Um, but anyway, so like, all told, you can get a lot of stuff in this thing and keep that's, it nice and organized. That's what um, I was thinking. I mean, my goodness, you had probably I, I have I count like twelve. Here, things. let's uh, let's lay it out here. <laughs> uh, let's see, got that up there. Put Maybe that over here. That's my mouse. A that's lot of wasn't things in, in one bag, and this is also yeah. You know, it's interesting. This is a review of uh, uh, a carry all bag. That, you know, yeah. For, I mean. All for, of for, this, for, right, went all into this, into one thing. But this is also this is also a what's in your bag, Adam? It kind of is. It kind of is. Yes. Yeah. When I tra when I travel, this is a very similar complement to what I travel with. Um, so let's kind of break this down a little bit more. So each of these, you know, each side has three of these pockets in here, and these are good for kind of holding like, uh, you know, cables and stuff like that, small things. There's three on this side, and then there's three more on this side. 
Um, then there's two larger pockets right here. Um, and this can hold like, you know, this is where I had like the plugs and stuff like that. This Wait is also. So question uh, on yeah. the inside there. Mm -hmm. If you spread it back out, there's what looks like. Is that just reinforcing where your fingers are right there? Here? Or is that is that like pen holders? Like These are pen holders. Yeah. Oh, okay. So okay. I was getting there, but. Um, Sorry. So like, yeah, so you can put a pen nice. uh, pencil in there or something like that. And I was about to show you, this is actually deep enough to hold an iPad mini if you needed to. Hmm. Um, I did not carry my iPad mini in here just because I had it stuffed with everything else. But if I ever take this, like if I ever decide to use this as like a shoulder pack while I'm going downtown or something like that, then I could definitely do that. I keep hitting everything like all the time. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Anyway, uh, so fixing. We're Mr. learning and getting yeah. better all the time. Sorry, Skippy. I'm fixing you. I'm trying anyway. <laughs> it's, it's not working. Oh, my God. This is horrible. Wait, Skippy, why'd you stop moving? Skippy. Uh-oh, we're buffering. Skippy's buffering, everybody. This is not good. <laughs> there, oh, he wait, is. there we go. There we go. Okay. Yay, Skippy. Um, <coughs> anyway, um, like I showed you before, this is uh velcro and this um actually i will love that part up. that yeah that part to me is is like 50 percent of what makes that bag awesome it kind of this is actually kind of what sold it honestly yeah. um there's a zipper pouch here okay um which i didn't really put anything in because it's not very deep but it has like it has like memory card holders in here mm -hmm. or like an elastic band I that mean, can hold really good for camera care oh yeah the, well if you got like i mean a, it, like, like it, a sony I, I forget the name, but that like uh, it's smaller than micro four thirds, but still has a big sensor in it. Like that would be perfect for that. I mean, this bag is inspired by Peak's, Peak Design, which Peak is design, you know very sense, much, yeah. very much camera oriented. But anyway, um, so it's also got you know these these two cross cross pouches here, and I think that about covers like all the storage. But I mean, there is just a ton of storage options, and then mm -hmm. like I said, it's got the the loops here that you can attach the strap to. You know what those are for? That's for like if you uh, actually want to hang your camera off of it, for example. I mean, a lot of people wear like possibly a, that, are, yeah. that are professional cam, like not necessarily someone in your field, but someone that's a professional camera person. They'll have like a, a, a light meter or something yeah. like that that has a belt clip that you can just clip yeah. that right onto. That, you could do that that's too. Really cool. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so I mean, and then you know, that's that's pretty much like the whole thing. Um, like I said, you, you saw how I used it, but mm -hmm. obviously, you can use it for you know, pretty much whatever you want. Um, but uh, but yeah, and like the main reason I bought this was because I wanted a way to like normally, like all this stuff here, you know, I'm just like tossing it into like like the 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 pocket of a backpack or something like that, mm -hmm. and it gets it's it's not it's not clean and I like clean. Um, so I'm like not OCD or anything, but um, it's, you know, this keeps things like a lot more organized than I would normally have. And so For that's sure. the one thing I don't really like about it is if you have like a bigger phone, like this is the galaxy S 22, it doesn't fit. <laughs> not that way. So yeah, definitely it's have to not go that deep. Um, however, if you did like something like an iPhone 14, that one is going to be close. It doesn't fit into these pockets here. Like, it, it, it won't slide into those pockets, but it can stand up. So, um, I don't know. Take that for what you will. I could put it, like, here, probably. I feel like, I feel like you're going to have that in your, your pocket or, or something. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But, I mean, this is for, like, someone who wants to travel with, like, multiple phones. If they're looking for mm -hmm. something to carry mm -hmm. multiple phones, you won't be able to stand them up. You could definitely lay them down, of course. Mm -hmm. But you won't be able to stand them up all that well. Like, this is the iPhone 14, the 6.1-inch screen. It barely fits. I wouldn't probably rely on that. Um, and then, like, one other thing, one other kind of, like, downside that I noticed is... When I had it packed up, it probably won't do it now, but this this side of the zipper actually started to pop a little bit. Um, so you know it popped open when it was when it was zipped shut. I was able to fix it just by you know opening and closing the bag again. But this that right there is indicative of the lack of peak designiness. Mm -hmm. Like I don't think a peak design bag would do that, to be honest. Um, just because they add another layer of quality to their stuff that well, what you know so, so what was the price 
I'll, I'll just we'll, we'll put these two things together. What was the price of the Peak Design bag? I think it was like eighty dollars. It, it was like seventy or eighty dollars, something like yeah. that. Yeah, and this was what? This was uh, this. So currently, this is forty five ninety nine, and I want to okay. say that's a, probably about the price I paid for it. Um, I was actually using like Amazon credit because I returned something, so I don't even mm. remember like exactly how much it was. But actually, I suppose if I go to my order. Uh, yeah, it was forty nine ninety. It was forty five ninety nine when I ordered it. So, okay. so yeah, it's uh, you know, like I said, it's it's probably a little bit more than half the price of the Peak Design, um, and I don't necessarily think that you're going to get an so, extra. So one thing I, I want to point out, though, yeah, and I think this is always a good <clears throat> measure of the design of bags, even in small bags, is that you're able to. And, and you had it up before, but you were able to set this down. Okay. And spread it out, and it's not falling over. Right. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. That, I mean, you, you think that's a small thing, but sometimes when, when bags are, are, are not thoughtfully designed, they will just plump over. And, yeah. And you're, and you're dealing, it just, it drives me nuts. It drives me nuts with backpacks. Mm hmm. Um, even even sometimes good backpacks, but they're just the the balance isn't there. But this seems like it's very nicely balanced. But you can kind of yeah. see it's almost symmetrical. By the way, yeah. But that one, you're putting stuff in it. I feel like if you put um, you know uh, something on one side, it's not going to plop over like like you have it right now, right? It's not plopping over. Right. That's no. really nice. Yeah, and I mean that's uh, that that's I mean, and again, you know, I was I was holding this open when it was mm -hmm. empty and it wasn't mm -hmm. and it wasn't flopping over like that. But it's still not. I mean, it's still. Yeah. Even though. Got, I... Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, that, again, you, you, imagine yourself there trying to pack the bag and it's like, flump, flump, flump. Yeah. All over the and place. like you're just it constantly really, like. It's one of those small it. things. Yeah. It just mm -hmm. it really makes a big difference. Yeah. Um, and so I, I have been very pleasantly uh, surprised and very happy with with how this turned and, out. And forty five ninety nine. I mean, you know, we, we I don't think we should say that this is a cheap bag it's 45.99 for that even though it's, it's not, not cheap this, no it's not cheap like it's that's that's reasonably priced but that is not a cheap bag like you, there you could was... probably get something on amazon like that for 12.99 if you didn't care about it. <laughs> there was there was another bag that was similar to this one yeah. that i want to say was around 30 okay. the reason i went with this one was because it included the shoulder strap and i want to say that the other one that was 30 didn't even have loops to mm -hmm. attach a shoulder strap so i kind of wanted that as well um but i mean really those were the significant differences and i also didn't care all that much because again i was using amazon credit so it's not right. like it was really costing <laughs> anything um but yeah if i had to you know really stop and think about it i might have gone with a 30 dollar one but uh you know that's 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 kind of up to you if you want to see if you can find something um cheaper now i i don't like that this is basically a, a peak design ripoff i i'm not i'm not a fan of that to be perfectly honest just because you know, like Peak Design put on all the work, you know, and they and then they just like bought one and like studied it and said, okay, yeah, we can sew this. That's that's not too hard. It's kind so of what like, you're gonna get on Amazon, yeah. Yeah, and you're gonna find that on Amazon. And I hate to support a company that does that, but at the same time, this is also a pretty good deal, and I found it, I found it to be very handy for what i was doing so but in general i'm i'm gonna frown on that particular practice and if you want to not buy this for that reason i totally get that um but at the same time it's a good bag i mean it's it's a solid bag and it'll keep your stuff uh organized and and nice while you travel i've got at least <clears throat> i know i've got one other like uh just family vacation coming up this summer so i'm definitely going to use this again for that and uh you know like i said i've got a couple of pieces coming up for slash here that might require me to move out and about like I'll leave my office for a little bit so i'll probably uh pack this up for those um excursions as well but uh in general yeah this is uh this is what it is uh once again this is the sterkman pouch electronic travel organizer and um 
you know, it's uh, it's it's forty nine forty five ninety nine. There's a link in the show notes, and there's a link to all this stuff in the show notes as well. So if you want to pick up any of my what's in your bag gear, then you can do that. But uh, but yeah, Very cool. Yeah, but uh, anyway, for now, um, I think that is going to do it for this episode of the podcast. And of course, if uh, you know, we would lo love it if you would hit the uh, subscribe button and like this video if you liked what you saw. Even if you didn't like what you saw, hit the like button anyway because we like we we want you to like us. Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube, like and subscribe. I'm sorry, I'm jumping into the middle of my script here. If you want some early access, jump into Patreon at Patreon.com/slash Benefit of a Doubt. I'd like to thank co-producer Cliff for all of his hard work behind the scenes, but most of all. And as always, I would like to thank you for listening and for watching and for giving us the benefit of the doubt.